While preparing graphics and designs, we sometimes need logos of famous brands and we search for their vectors on the internet and try to find them. However, with the brand fetch application, we can quickly access the logos, colors and fonts of the brands we need. This is brand fetch site. I'll show you how and where we can use it in a moment. When we come to the creative tab, we click the view all button here and we can see the which programs are supported by this plugin. If you are using Figma or if you are using Canva, there are plugins to quickly access these logos. You can use the brand fetch application and add-on in the programs and applications you see here. When we go a little lower, we also see the Adobe XD and Adobe Photoshop. In this video, I will show you how to use this brand fetch app in Adobe Photoshop. If you are using the others, you can install and use this application with the add-on installation options specific to those programs. We can also install this application via Adobe's Creative Cloud application. When we search brand fetch in the stock and marketplace and select the plugin, we will see brand fetch application here. If you are using Adobe XD, we need to install this option. And if you want to use this application in Photoshop, we need to install the brand fetch for Photoshop application. Let's start the installation by clicking the get button. Then we click on the OK button. The application is installed. Now we can open the Photoshop program. When we open Photoshop, you will see a notification that the brand fetch application has been installed. Let's click on the cross button. When you install the plugin, you will see an option called Brand Fetch under Plugins and let's open the Brand Fetch application in it. We can call the page close and let's put it in a nice place. For example, let's say you are going to prepare a design for social media and we need a Twitter icon. Here, in this field, I write Twitter and click on the option that suits me in the options that appear. When you click on this option, it shows me the features of this brand that a designer can use. I need a logo, so I click on this logo and the logo quickly settles into the workspace. You can also see the colors here. You can also see other alternatives to the logo. You can quickly access the logos of many brands that you can think of through the brand fetch application and its plugin. For example, let's do a Google search. Let's say I want to reach the Google logo and I can see the Google logo like this. If you need an Instagram logo, this is how I can find the Instagram logo by searching Instagram. Of course, this is not only the option for achieving a brand's logo. For example, you can provide this by from their own site. You can also find other fonts belonging to Google by typing Google here. Let's say you want to use this with Photoshop for example. To be able to use an SVG file in Photoshop, I enter on it and copy the SVG address. I paste this address here by pressing Ctrl O and say open. Because of the SVG file has a good quality, it asks what sizes we want to open this logo. Let's enter a random size, 800 pixels and 300 dpi. As you can see, when I click the OK button, I can now use the Google logo here. This is an alternative method to add a logo here. You can quickly and easily access the logos and colors of brands throughout this site. That's it for this video. I hope this feature saves you more time. See you in new videos.